YouTube, Corn Cobb Piper coming at you. Hope everybody is having a uh, great holiday season so far. It is Monday. Also, hope you're having a great start to your week. Uh, gonna do a yabo for you today. This is just some uh, stuff that I picked up personally for myself for the Christmas season. And then uh, a few items that I'll discuss of stuff that I'm gonna be uh, smoking during uh, the new year. I've already done what I plan on smoking for. Uh, holiday 2017 meaning like the Christmas season between Thanksgiving and Christmas and then uh, I'm going to share with you the blends that I plan on smoking uh, after Christmas into the first of the year and then probably right through until the end of January. So we'll start off uh, with a pipe that I purchased. It's a, it's a 7LE and um, they do a St. Nicholas series every year. I have a 320 uh, from 2017, I'm sorry, 2016, which I love, and I uh, wanted to get a new one uh, for this year. I also have a custom corn cob pipe, Christmas corn cob pipe from CJ and Mylan Tobacconist. This one uh, comes courtesy of Cup of Joe's. Cup of Joe's is an online site. If you haven't heard of them, uh, definitely check it out. They offer some great customer service there. Definitely one of the online vendors that I would, would personally recommend. Uh, but I wanted to pick up a 2017 uh, Savinelli St. Nicholas as well. And uh, that's what this guy is. I'm just ripping the package open right now. So I've been smoking so far exclusively this holiday season from my, my custom cob and the 7 LA 320. Uh, this is going to give me just another pipe to... Uh, you know, try these different blends out of. So here's the uh, the Seven Ellie box. Comes of course, which I still don't get, in one of these cheap old Seven Ellie pipe socks. You think for as much money as they charge for these pipes that they could do a little bit nicer in the socks, but it is what it is. And uh, the shape that I picked, um, I, I was debating between getting a 321 or a 673 or another 320. Uh, but I've been watching a lot of Sergeant Savinelli lately, and he likes his Savinelli saxophones, the 614s. I've decided to go ahead, and uh, that's the shape that I picked. So without further ado, here is the Savinelli St. Nicholas 2016 in the 614 shape, the saxophone. It's got a nice little curve on there. This would make a great little clencher. Is rusticated. I, hopefully the lighting's coming in here good, uh, but it's a brown rustification on the outside, and then you have obviously the ivory-colored stem with the red striping around. So very very cool pipe. Definitely looking into uh, smoking some of these blends out of here as well. So I've discussed with you all of the uh, the blends that I plan on smoking uh, through Christmas, and I picked up a few. Uh, that I plan on smoking after Christmas, right, like I said, up until the end of January. Um, Penzance is one of them. Uh, I, you know, I, I have some Penzance left. I tried to conserve it, uh, but I figured the New Year's time, that'd be a good time to start smoking some again. So really, there's going to be four blends uh, in all. So, so some es Esoterica uh, Penzance. I also just received from uh, Matches 860, some of this King Charles smoking mixture from uh, Germain's. I've never had it. This is a, an English blend and mixture of Latakia Oriental and Virginia, so I guess more maybe like a Balkan. Heard great things about it, definitely looking forward to smoking this, so thank you very, very much, John, Matches 860, for the King Charles mix. Definitely gonna add that into my holiday rotation. I did a package opening of this one. I believe this is a London Burley mixture from, our Burley London mixture from Mac Barron. Uh, I sent off a tin also to John as a, a Christmas present. I actually picked up two of these. And then I just watched a great review of uh, Sergeant Savinelli and Matches 860. They reviewed some uh, some Edgeworth sliced, some vintage Edgeworth slice, sliced. It sounded the way they described it since like the greatest thing since sliced bread. So I went perusing the internet and was lucky enough to come across some uh, on eBay. 
that's what is in uh, this last package. Um, so my plan is probably um, to smoke two of these um, on New Year's uh, Day, two of these on New Year's Eve, uh, and then going forward from there. So here is the little small container of Edward Slice. This is unopened. This is very, very vintage. Probably from the 60s or 70s. I'm trying to see if there's a weight on this. This is a pretty small package. I'm guessing this is probably... There is no weight on it. I'm guessing this is probably only an ounce. Maybe some kind of a sa sample package. Made in Virginia it does not say how much it weighs, but definitely looking forward to smoking that as well. So I got um, you know two, like I said, for New Year's Eve, two now for New Year's Day, and then the rest to smoke right through the, the end of January between the King Charles mixture, Edgeworth sliced, uh, London or Burley London mixture, and uh, the Penzance. So just wanted to share a quick little yabble with you guys, let you know what I'd be getting into around the first of the year. Once again, wishing everybody out there. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, and hope you have a great New Year coming up as well. And as always, you too, keep on piping.